Welcome back here to our Kids Are Close Sunday School. I'm Teacher Hannah. I hope you guys are having a blessed morning. Uh, let's open up in prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this morning just waking us up and blessing us with another day. Um, I pray that these kids just get something out of this lesson and that you just continue to bless us. And I thank you for just always being with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, click down below on the link for our worship song and I'll see you guys right back after. Welcome back kids from that worship song. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, we will be continuing our series on obedience. This week we have a story about a man named Balaam. Our memory verse for this week is Psalms 119, 118. And it says, you reject everyone who ignores your demands, their lies mislead them. Basically what it's saying is that those who allow the lies of the enemy to take them away from what God is trying to do in their lives and the things that God wants them to do. Um, he will reject them if they continue to sin and continue to lie. Um, but always remember that God forgives us if you just go to him and ask for forgiveness. So our pronouns for this morning are, for the little kids, we have Balaam and his donkey. And for the older kids, we have a puzzle worksheet. Um, I hope your parents got them. And let's move on to our Bible story. So in today's story, we see a, na a, na a man. So in today's story, we see a man named Balak, who was the king of Moab. He knew he couldn't defeat the Israelites because they were blessed by God. Balak seeked his officials to go to a man named Balaam, who was a diviner. A diviner could put a curse or bless people so he told them to give them money to offer him money to curse the Israelites the officials went to Balaam and offered him the treasures and told him that the king wanted him to curse the Israelites and Balaam told them told them to spend the night and he will speak to God and see what he has to say. So the officials went to bed and God came to Balaam and told him not to go with them, that he cannot curse the Israelites. And the next morning, the officials came to Balaam and Balaam told them that he cannot go with him, he cannot go with them for God says that he cannot. So they leave and go tell Balaam. The next day, they come back and offer him more treasures and they tell him the same thing. And Balaam says, we'll spend the night and I will see what else God has to say. So they go to bed and Balaam, Balaam talks to God and God tells him to go with him, but only to do what he says. So. They wake up the next morning and he says that he will go with them and they go with Balaam to Balak and go back to the palace. So Balaam decided to take the treasures and go and try and harm the Israelites as he was on his way to the Israelites. The donkey saw an angel of God and stopped and swerved off of the road. Um, Balaam did not see him, so he beat the donkey and the angel moved and they continued on. Um, again, the angel came and the donkey ran into the wall, hurting Balaam's leg. And, the, and Balaam beat the donkey again. The, Angel moved on ahead and they continued on their path and the angel came again and this time the donkey collapsed under Balaam and Balaam started to beat the donkey and God gave the donkey the ability to speak to Balaam and ask him why he was beating him and Balaam told him because he made him look like a fool and was mocking him. Um, the donkey said, but haven't you ridden me your whole 
your whole life to this day, um, have I ever done anything like this to you? And he said, no. And that's when God opened the eyes of Balaam to see the angel. And the angel said to Balaam, why have you beaten your donkey these three times? I have come here to oppose you because your path is reckless, is a reckless one before, before God. The donkey saw me and turned away from me these three times. If it had not turned away, I would certainly have killed you by now, but I would have spared the donkey. So Balaam bows down to the to the angel and says to forgive him and that he will do what God says. And the angel says to go back to Balak and tell him and only speak the words of God. So Balaam went back to Balak, and Balak asked him why he came back. Um, didn't he send him to go curse the Israelites, he, and that he wouldn't be able to reward him um, if he didn't curse them, so he was trying to manipulate him into trying to go back. And Balak said, that he cannot curse them because he can only speak the words of God. So Balaam took um, Balaam onto a hill where they can see the camp of the Israelites. Balaam kept trying to manipulate and persuade Balaam into cursing the Israelites and Balaam kept denying him and blessing the Israelites and just speaking what God wanted him to Day. Um, but eventually, Balaam gave in to the manipulation, persuasion, and just being greedy and wanting the treasures that Balak was offering him and taught, the, taught, taught Balak how to entice the Israelites and brought a plague upon them. Now that we've gone over our Bible story, um, you guys can start to do the coloring page um, while I go over the puzzle worksheet with the older kids. Now that we've gone over our Bible story, um, you guys can start on coloring your color page. I already colored mine in advance so you can see what it looks like at the end while I go over the puzzle worksheet with older kids. As you can see, there is a key box that has numbers that match to a certain letter. So for number 16, it would match to the letter G. Um, number 12 would match to the letter U. 19 would match to the letter I. 14 matches to the letter D. 20 would match to the letter E. Uh, 7 would match to the letter M. 20 would be E again. 19 would be I. 10 is N. 25 is Y, 26 is O, 12 is U, 9 is R, 5 is T, 9 is R, 12 is U, 5 is T, Um, 22 is H, 6 is A, 10 is N, 14 is D, 5 is T, 20 is E, 6 is A, 21 is C, 22 is H, 7 
is M, 20 is E, 2 is F, 26 is O, 9 is R, 25 is Y, 26 is O, 12 is U, 6 is A, 9 is R, 20 is E, 16 is G, 26 is O, 14 is D, 7 is M, 25 is Y, 15 is S, 6 is A, 8 is V, 19 is I, 26 is O, 9 is R, 6 is A, 10 is N, 14 is D, 7 is M, 25 is Y, 22 is H, 26 is O, 3 is P, 20 is E, 19 is I, 15 is S, 19 is I, 10 is N, 25 is Y, 26 is O, 12 is U, 6 is A, 4 is L, 14 is D, 6 is A, 25 is Y, 4 is L, 6 is A, 25 is Y, 4 is L, 26 is O, 10 is N, 16 is G, 3 is P, 15 is S, 6 is A, 4 is L, 7 is N. So it should say, guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day, lay long, Psalms 25, 5, and IV. And now we'll answer the questions that are at the bottom. In whom should we be following and learning? It would be God. What is this verse asking God to do for us? It's asking God to teach us and guide us in his truth. In whom should we place our hope all day long? It would be God. Now that we've gone over our worksheet, let's go over our memory verse one more time. It's Psalms 119, 118. It says, You're, you reject everyone who ignores your demands. Their lies mislead them. Now let's not forget what our lesson is about. We shall not we should not let anyone tell us or manipulate us or persuade us into disobeying what God has for us and just disobeying the things that he wants us to do. Um, I hope that you guys learned something and got something from this lesson. Now let's close in prayer and see you guys when we see you. Um, Heavenly Father, I thank you for just allowing me to speak into these kids and just 
I hope that they learn from this lesson that they do not disobey you and they learn that the enemy will come against them and trying to just tell them to disobey you and go away from you and lead them into the wrong path but I just pray that they continue to follow you and just have you guide them in Jesus name. Amen. Bye guys.